Welcome in to another week of the Blitz. We're here, week three uh, football action coming up, but first we want to talk week two. Uh, Wayne with me. Wayne, uh, Laney and Josie, the rivalry is renewed, but for Josie it's probably all too familiar already. Uh, how good was Laney in this game? Well, at least for one game, they could probably be anyone they faced out there. I mean, they had almost uh, more than 460 yards of offense, nice balance running and passing, offensive line was dominant. Besides for the first nine seconds, when the opening kick went back for Josie, it was all Laney after that. Well, Josie and Laney uh, obviously get off to uh, the rivalry renewed again. In South Carolina, it was Midland Valley South Aiken. It was a great game. Went down to the uh, final minute. Midland Valley pulls it out. South Aiken down by one. They score a touchdown to be to be down by one, and then go for two instead of uh, kicking the field goal. Tough decision for any coach to make, uh, and Coach Jeremy West said he would do it again, but didn't work out. Midland Valley wins that one by one. And of course that game was at Midland Valley, and that's where they have the Mustang, and we took an extra close look at the Mustang last week. All right, we're bringing in Chris Gay now to talk Richmond Academy Greenbrier. Chris, you were at this game. Tell us all about it. I'll tell you, uh, Greenbrier got off to a fast start, unlike they did the previous game where they had to come back and win. Uh, the Scott Reeder kid for Greenbrier was uh, passing well. Actually, he had a really good game, threw a couple of touchdown passes, one right before halftime that put Greenbrier up and fired up ARC. Uh, Chris Hughes challenged his team at intermission, and uh, the Musketeers responded in a big way in the second half. You're watching the Blitz. Check out the Blitz this week. I'll be watching. Blitz all day long. Watching it all day long. You're watching the Blitz! All right, before we move on and talk about this week's games, Chris, we've got to bring up Butler. Now, they're off this weekend, but, I mean, think about it. 41-game losing streak coming into this season. All of a sudden, they're 2-0. and And who's got the best defense in the area? Who hasn't given up a point yet? Butler, can you believe that? Oh no, 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 not whatsoever. I mean, <laughs> they've gone. They're not Cinderella. They're world beaters, for goodness sakes. I mean, this team beat a ranked Twiggs County team last week. Granted, it's Class A, but still, it's a fantastic program. Uh, you know, they've won both their games on the road. Now, I think this team's for real and has a legitimate shot of making the playoffs and making some noise in the region. Okay, and the other team, real quick, is Aquinas mm -hmm. because they're kind of in the same boat here. They're not. They weren't. You know, didn't start off as down as Butler did, but Aquinas all of a sudden they're undefeated as well. Uh, I'm not surprised by Aquinas a bit. I thought the Irish would either be 3-1 uh, and one or 4-0 and oh to start the season. And uh, kind of coming in, now I get this feeling that they are going to start off 4-0. Oh. The sports staff of the Augusta Chronicle and WRDW News 12 are your competition. Beat their high school football predictions and you are in the running for a Beat the Pros t-shirt. Complete rules and ballot are in the Augusta Chronicle on Sunday or vote online at AugustaChronicle.com. Beat the Pros. Win a t-shirt. All right, now we're here talking about this week's games at North Augusta High School, where this is the biggest one of the week, easily. North Augusta playing host to Lakeside. Chris, break that one down for us. Oh, this is a fantastic game. This is your uh, traditional uh, pitching versus hitting sort of matchup, to use a baseball analogy. You know, Lakeside's defense versus North Augusta's offense. You've got that fantastic quarterback, Hammonds, playing for North Augusta. And then you've got uh, Lakeside's defense, which proved it was for real last year. What, seven shutouts? Is that right? Yeah. And they were, they're phenomenal this year. They pretty much shut Thompson down last week. I mean, I don't know if it gets any better this week. Yeah, you know, and that Lakeside Thompson game was fantastic uh, last week. Thompson won it on a last second field goal. But here it's a new week, and it's these two, uh, two of the biggest schools in the Augusta area squaring off. I don't know if you hear the band, but they're getting ready. So it should be a pretty good one. We talked to North Augusta coach Dan Pippen about what he thinks. Well, you know, last year was a great year for you guys, and I think people finally started taking notice in Aiken County. This year, um, you think people maybe start taking notice uh, in, say, the Augusta area or in, in the rest of the state of South Carolina? Well, you know, that's kind of why we're playing the schedule we're playing. We're going, we've got Sumter coming in next week. We've got Northwestern in a couple weeks from now, big s schools from South Carolina that are, uh, Sumter was a big 16 finalist two years ago. North Northwestern was uh, the division we play in finalists last year. 
Um, we're playing schools from Augusta who are very good uh, with Lakeside and Evans. It, you know, I think it just gives us a bigger draw in our area. Um, and, and it'll help us out. I'm also the athletic director, so I got to worry about the gate. And, you know, I got to balance that out with trying to find teams that we can be competitive with. And I'm, you know, I'm not sure that Lakeside and Evans are teams like that, but, we're, you know, we're going to give it our best shot. That's all for this week. We'll see you next Thursday on the Blitz. But before we go, uh, guys, last week, you remember how we ended the show and I, Chris, I told you to go deep and you went all the way to Channel 12 Studios and Kevin Feigl, he didn't like that very much. So I don't want to get in trouble again. So Wayne, you throw it this time. And Chris, you go deep. Welcome into Operation Football Live. I'm Kevin Feigl. It's week two. Holy cow, you rifled that one. Welcome into Operation Football Live. I'm Kevin Feigl. It's week two of the high school football season. Welcome into Operation Football Live. I'm... Welcome into Operation Football Live and the Blitz with our two special guests, Billy Byler and Chris Gay.